The news just came in that New York Met legend Jerry Grody has passed away. And for those of you who are of a certain age like me, you realize that he was the Clarence Clemens of the New York Mets. He was the heart and the soul, the second of an unbelievable pitching staff. Tom Seaver himself said that he has played with some great catchers, Johnny Bench, Colton Fisk, but when it came to the art of actually catching, and no disrespect to anybody else, Jerry Grody was the tops. He provided stability behind that plate. He called a great game, and he kept his mouth shut. The man was the consummate professional for the 69 World Championship Mets, for the 73 team that made it to the World Series and lost to the A's. And then he got a chip, another chip, with the L.A. Dodgers as a backup to a wonderful catcher named Steve Yeager. Jerry Grody, to a lot of us, meant class. He meant dignity. He was no Thurman Munson, couldn't hit like Thurman. But they both had a tenacity behind the plate. You just did not F with him. I was doing my podcast with my partner, my brother Michael, tonight. And we were talking about Jerry Grody, in fact, because we were talking about the 1981 Expos. And the Dodgers, as you know, beat the Expos to go to the World Series. So his name came up in the conversation. Jerry Grody, you'll be missed, but you'll never be forgotten. Well done, my friend. Thank you for giving all of us Met fans and all baseball fans the joy that you did. Number 15 forever.